Whatever you do, don't panic. So don't panic. We're all going to make mistakes. But how are you going to deal with them? If you just get upset, nobody's going to want to hang out with you, work with you, order a drink off you. So you got to kind of take it with a grain of salt. A good bartender should always look like they're cool and under, under, cool under pressure. Never bumble or stumble or... <laughs> or tumble. <laughs> tumble. So don't panic. Everybody makes mistakes. It's how you deal with them that marks you as, a, I think, a great or just an average bartender. Right? Do you handle with a sense of humor or do you get upset by it? It's going to upset you. It's going to bother you. I don't care how confident you are or how comfortable you are. None of us likes making mistakes in front of a group of people. Right? But if you can focus on the fun part of it focus and make it work for you, because uh, it's going to happen, so you better learn how to deal with it properly. A couple examples. Uh, my fault. This came out of a, a bar uh, in Victoria, actually, W. Dale Malik, and uh, uh, all the people now at Sugar. You own Sugar Nightclub? Go check it out. Love those guys. Um, they actually came up with a real big teamwork thing. They wanted to make sure that everybody felt part of the team and they felt okay. So when somebody made a mistake, their partner would stand up and go, my fault, my fault. And then the waitress and the porter would go, no, my fault. Scotty, that was my fault. And pretty much, pretty soon, this starts being infectious. Right? Everybody starts to get into the game. And then after a while, the customers start getting into a game because they see something cool going on. So everybody's now chanting, my fault, my fault. Everybody laughs, has a good time. The tension's taken away from the person who made the mistake. Uh, and it's sort of a big part of the team thing. So that's one way to do with it. Another way is bad bottle, very, very bad. You know, don't you worry, sir, I won't be giving you any more trouble. Sure, it's corny, but it breaks the tension, breaks the ice, not that big a deal. Uh, another way that, uh, that we like to do is, you know, oh, there's an earthquake, is everybody okay? Is everybody all right? Or, did you feel that wind? It was like 10 knot westerly. Whew, danger, danger. So you're right, they're all corny and uh, kind of like my grandfather. Loves, loves the corny jokes. They're not really that funny, but just because we're having fun doing them and saying them, that's what ends up being funny. So that's sort of the, the interaction with the customer part. So don't panic, deal with it well properly, because you're going to screw up. It's going to happen. So might as well deal with it like a prof professional. I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a long section. Yeah. That was good though. Yeah?